Rumpke Recycling has opened its newly remodeled material recovery facility in Columbus, Ohio. The new MRF took four months to build and has been in operation since the summer of 2011. After processing recyclables for the last 10 years at the facility, Rumpke decided it was time to make some major upgrades. Rumpke has made a substantial investment in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we had a plant that we designed in, in the year 2000 that was a two-sort plant, and then it was converted to single stream. So this, the older plant was running for about 10 years. Uh, with the new innovations and the new systems that are out there today and the change in the marketplace, uh, we made the decision to invest in a brand new operating system. Uh, we did that this year. We selected Machine X, and it took uh, approximately about four months, uh, effective April, to build a new plant. By adding 12 walking floor bunkers, the new setup completely eliminates the need to use rolling stock on the floor level. That was a safety improvement for Rumkey, as well as allowing for six to eight tons of storage per bunker. Additional improvements include updated technology and increased automation. Automation was critical in this design. Uh, the, the main design and probably the starting process with uh, Steve and, and the folks at Rumpke were, was the cleanliness of the fiber. Uh, and, and as such, uh, it filtered backwards. So we were able to put some fiber scanners in to clean up the fiber stream as well as some containers optics in to clean up the containers. In total, there's five optics, two on the fiber side, and three in the container side uh, for HDP, PET, as well as the uh, aseptic packaging. It also has a bag breaking system that we've incorporated into the system because the Columbus plant handles about one third of our volume comes from drop off or community based programs. So we see a bit more residue or maybe non-recyclable material that we have to open those bags up and make sure that's an automated system. We also have a film system in the plant that's an air vac system to remove the film plastic away from our newspaper and other containers because it being a contaminant for us and we also can recover that. So there's a lot of new innovations we've incorporated into Columbus, Ohio. One of the special features of Rumpke's Columbus Murph is this glass silo which holds 80 tons. Glass is very unique. Uh, we are in the glass business, so the material that we generate from Columbus goes to feed our glass plant over in Dayton, Ohio. So we have to make sure it's very clean. Actually, what we have behind us is, in essence, a glass plant within a MRF operating system. Very unique in the country. But the material actually goes to a 80-ton silo. We load the trucks over the top like you would load maybe grain or, or salt. Uh, everything self-contained, keeps it very clean. It's a very quick delivery system. We, we do uh, have several different designs in glass cleanup systems. Um, load out of the glass, as you can see behind me, was one of the critical scenarios when we looked at how we designed the system. They wanted to be able to hold three truckloads of glass here so they could process it in their Dayton facility in the future. Inside the facility, we put in a glass cleanup system that's a trommeling system that's able to put the right amount of air to pull out the contaminants of paper and, and others uh, by size and by density. In just the short time the new MRF has been in operation, Rumkey has more than doubled its production. Well, productivity has been great. We've uh, gone from about 15 tons per hour in the old plant. This plant's doing at a rate of an hour, thir about 30 tons per hour. Uh, we've pushed it a little bit higher than that, but we're always watching our, uh, our contamination issues and our quality issues, so we're quite pleased. Rumkey says the new innovations in Columbus are just a continuation of the company's long history of providing opportunities for its customers. Well, it's definitely one of the most technologically advanced systems in the Midwest. And so it's very exciting from our perspective to be able to bring this facility to this region and offer even more opportunities for residents and commercial customers and industrial customers to get involved in the recycling and waste reduction effort. It's something the Rumkey family has been committed to since the 1930s when we were just pulling out steel and rags and glass from our waste streams and it's it's just continued to grow and we're very excited we look forward to a, fu a future filled with more innovations and greener technology reporting from rumkey recycling's columbus murph this is deanne toto with recycling today